the desire uh, to regulate AI <coughs> and its application. Uh, but the, I think the fundamental question is, can it be regulated? Uh, what is your take? Oh, absolutely. It can be regulated. We have regulated nuclear technology before. We regulate dangerous chemicals. We have regulated very dangerous technologies very successfully. Uh, and same thing, it's, it's a tool that we have built. Um, it is easy and it is possible to regulate this, and we must. Um, many countries are now working on this. Our government in India is working on it. Um, so, yeah, and, and the regulation is absolutely necessary. Just like we regulate, uh, as I'm speaking to you, I'm sitting in a 45-story tall building. Uh, you know, this building is not going to fall down, or the builders don't say there is a 30% chance that this building could just crumble. Uh, it doesn't work like that. Uh, we need to be able to build responsible technologies, trustworthy technologies out of these these basic tools. And uh, uh, the, the fundamental issue that I see is an issue of education. Mm. Um, right now, there are far too few people who understand these technologies. Um, if I give you some statistics on that, yeah. the my wife, uh, Vandana, is on the board of uh, Code.org, which is a nonprofit that brings coding computer science to, to people, to kids and, and all that. And she always says that there is, uh, in the dark ages, you know, when the dark ages were going to the middle ages, about 6% of the world was able to read and write. The literacy rates were 6%. Today, the number of people who can program is about 1%, uh, if, if you are generous. Uh, and the number of people who can, who, who can build you an AI application is probably less than 2 million. 2 million out of 8 billion people in the world. And the number of people who could explain to you, you know, technically how chat GPT works is probably 25, 30,000. That's it. So this number needs to be 100x, 1000x higher. And I think that's for India, for us, that is the huge opportunity um, is to be able to not just create users of this technology, but builders of this technology uh, who are able to, and that removes the fear of it. You know, that removes the, the mystery around it. The more that we understand it, the more we are able to do something with it, and uh, we shed the fear of it.